Shalom. Uh, this is Vali with Upper Room Fellowship Ministry. Uh, during the past few days, the Holy Spirit impressed on my heart a powerful message that I really desire to share that with you. Uh, I hope uh, this is going to be an encouraging and uh, uplifting, edifying message. So uh, during this um, episode, episode two, we are going to discuss about the attributes of God. But before that, let me give you a short review about what we discussed uh, during uh, episode one. Uh, last time we talked that during the time of crisis, even some Christians uh, are struggling and the faith of many believers is being tested. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, can God be trusted? So during life challenges, a lot of questions are crossing people's minds. Uh, last time I discussed about two main questions. If God is sovereign and all powerful, why is God letting this pandemic sweep across the globe? And the other question was, if God is love, why does he allow people to suffer, get sick and die? And of course, many other questions at the personal level. So as I said, everything boils down to trusting in God. Can God be trusted during time of crisis? Can believers, despite light challenges, can declare, can proclaim these affirmations? One, God, your loving kindness is everlasting. I cannot explain nor understand why this is happening to us, but I know that you are love. The other affirmation is like this, Lord, you are trustworthy and faithful in all of your ways. Therefore, despite my lack of understanding of the current situation, I still trust in you. And as a review, the other affirmation is this, God, I belong to you. I know that you have a good plan for my life. You are in control of everything, therefore I choose faith over fear, and many other similar situations. So I highly recommend to review uh, episode one, part one that uh, I presented to you uh, last time. During part two, we are going to discuss about the attributes of God. So I'm going to um, tackle between this view and a PowerPoint view so I can, um, you know, kind of offer you a, a better way to follow my uh, presentation. So I'm going to share the screen and um, show you a, a, a PowerPoint presentation. And we are going to uh, go over that, uh, you know, just to uh, highlight those uh, important attributes uh, that God has. Okay, so here we are. Uh, why God, why? why God is letting this pandemic sweep across the globe. God has many attributes. I'm sorry, in a part two, the attributes of God. God has many attributes such as, and I'm going to uh, go over these attributes. Again, it uh, would be very important to visit the website and review my blog for all the details that I have uh, included in terms of uh, those attributes of, of God, okay? So, number one, God is holy, Revelation 4, 8. Number two, God is omnipotent, Psalm 33, 6. Number three, God is omniscient, Isaiah 46, 9 to 10. Number four, God is omnipresent, Psalm 139, 7 to 10. Number five, God is infinite, Colossians 1, uh, 17. Uh, number six, God is immutable, Malachi 3, 6. Number seven, God is self-sufficient, Psalm 50, verse 12. Number eight, God is wise, Romans 11, 33. Number nine, God is faithful, Deuteronomy 7, 9. Number 10, God is just, uh, Deuteronomy 32, 4. Number 11, God is good, 
Psalm 34, 8. Number 12, God is merciful. Psalm 86, 15. Number 13, uh, God is gracious. Psalm 145, verse 8. Number 14, God is glorious. Habakkuk 3, 4. And number 15, God is love. 1 John 4, verses 7 to 8. Uh, as you can see, I use uh, an hi a special highlight, purple highlight, for attribute number one, God is holy, and attribute number 15, God is love. And then I, uh, I uh, put a kind of green highlight over attributes 2 to 14. And, and you will see very soon why I decided to do that, to make sure that it's easier for you to get my uh, idea as the Holy Spirit impressed upon my heart. So uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to state uh, this very important principle. It is very important to have a correct view of God. Why is that? Because uh, as A. W. Tozer uh, wrote in one of his books. What comes into our minds when we think about God is the most important thing about ourselves. Therefore, it's absolutely paramount, it's absolutely crucial to understand, to know, to be sure that God is acting according to his character and to his uh, nature. So let me, let me share again the PowerPoint uh, with you. So you could, uh, you know, understand a little bit more why that's it. It's so important. Okay. So again, God is acting according to His character, perfect holiness and righteousness, and His nature, agape love. Okay. Therefore, we must be clear in our minds that God cannot act outside of those two essential attributes. So remember the attributes that we uh, uh, we just seen before, I just presented before. So as I said, uh, on one side is the holiness of God, okay? Attribute number one. On the other side is the nature of God. God is love, attribute number 15. Between those two, the holiness of God, and the nature of uh, the the nature of God, love, um, God operates within those uh, very specific attributes. Okay, so that's that's absolutely uh, important for everybody to realize, and especially for uh, disciples of Christ uh, to have a correct view of God and a correct understanding of those attributes and how God um, uh, works. Um, in this universe. Okay, so number one, um, holiness. God is holy, so he is the standard of, of holiness. He is perfect. God holiness is a superlative. Revelation 4.8 uh, states, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. And Isaiah 63, when he had that a phenomenal uh, revelation, vision in, of the temple of God, in the temple, okay? Uh, he heard those creatures declaring and saying to one another, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And then um, the psalmist in Psalm 99, 9 uh, writes, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill. For holy is the Lord our God. And then um, number two, love. God is love. God not only that loves us, but his very nature is love. There is nothing that we can do to stop God, to cause God to stop loving us. We cannot do anything to cause God to love us less or love us more. He just love, loves us no matter what. Why? Simply because He is love. Remember, God acts according to His nature, and God acts in between uh, attribute number one, 
holiness of God and attribute number 15, um, the love of God. Okay. So I hope, I hope, uh, you know, these things, you know, kind of uh, make sense uh, to each and every one of you. Therefore, I really believe that during the time of crisis, like the one that we are experiencing all over the world uh, right now, God can be trusted. God is holy, but God is love. So if there is a purpose out there is going to be uh, treated between the holiness of God and the love of God. So until next time, uh, shalom, uh, be safe, be wise, be protected, honor God, honor the King. Shalom. Oh, by the way, for more information, or to read the recent blog post, we invite you to visit the ministry website at urfm.org. For any spiritual needs, please do not hesitate to contact Valley at URFM. So if you wanna if you wanna see the screen with those uh, details, probably it's it's easier for you to follow along. Uh, here it is. Uh, the way to contact us is visit the ministry website or email me for any of your spiritual needs. Uh, God bless you. And see you next time.